you know, what's this plus or minus doing here? You know, how do I know if it's positive or negative or is it both, right? So we're gonna clear that up in this video. So in this example, we wanna find out what's the sine of five pi over eight. Well, we know our unit circle and we know uh, the different values on there, like the 30, 60, 90, and multiple of those angles, or pi over six, pi over four, pi over three, et cetera. But pi over eight's not one that we know, okay? It's not one that we memorize on the unit circle, but we recognize that pi, five pi over eight is actually half of five pi over four. Five pi over four is one that we know, okay, on our unit circle, it's right there, okay? And when you look at this point right here, we know that the uh, sine in the third quadrant is negative, okay? But five pi over eight, this is five eighths pi, five eighths pi is gonna put you right about uh, over here, okay, in the second quadrant. Now in the second quadrant, sine is actually positive. So we're interested in where five pi over eight is, not where five pi over four is. So we're gonna look at five pi over eight, our actual angle, and we know that sine is positive, so we're gonna use the positive quantity. Okay, so does that clear it up? It's not the angle that you're gonna be using five pi over four. So let's see if we can simplify this a little bit further. So this basically comes out to sine of five pi over four, divided by two, okay, it's five pi over eight, so this is our x, this is what's gonna be going into our formula here in place of x, equals uh, square root of one minus the cosine of five pi over four, all divided by two, and we're taking the positive quantity because we know five pi over eight is positive here in the second quadrant. Five pi over four, though, is a negative square root two over two, Okay, divided by two, the two negatives are gonna cancel. And what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna multiply the numerator and denominator by two to clear this complex fraction. So if I distribute the two, I get two plus square root of two, because these twos are gonna cancel in the denominator here, over four. The square root of four though is two, so I'm just gonna write this as the square root of two plus square root of two, all divided by two. This two is no longer underneath the square root.